Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is passionate about food and fun. She is known for cooking up Southern Comfort dishes that are absolutely amazing. She cooks it up with love and laughter for all to share. Please welcome Chef the Glorious Glorious <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, dear. How are you? I am beyond honored to be here. I'm yes. standing with Miss Quad, y'all. I done made it, y'all. Uh, I love you for that. <laughs> Thank I love you. you. We were talking during the break. She's like, I just love you on Mary tonight. I do, too. <laughs> I appreciate you. But let's get into this food. It yes. smells so amazing. What is it about comfort food that draws you to it? You know, comfort food is, some people think it's chicken, macaroni. Comfort mm -hmm. food is whatever reminds you of the good things in life. Yes. The food that takes you back to those good moments and yeah. you're sitting there and you're, ooh. Yeah. That's comfort well, food. Like that time when you were sitting out on the front porch and then your yes. uncle came out the front door and then you caught that aroma that mother was in there cooking. Yes, and you said, oh, yeah. grandma been making pie today. That, exactly. That's, that's that, comfort that, food. That one, that yes. one. So <laughs> you have this baked potato. It's all the rave. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about this baked potato. Okay, so I do this baked potato and bacon soup. And the thing mm. with Calabama cooking, what I call it, because I'm from California and I Alabama. Oh, Alabama-ish. Is. <laughs> is that mm. I make it like I want to make it. Yes. That's what makes me comfortable. So what I do is I have started with some bacon mm -hmm. and then we make a little roux okay. to get it nice and thick because my soups eat like meals. Oh, I like that. You know what I'm saying? You're not yeah. going to walk away with meals. And then two hours later, hungry you want to Yeah, I don't no, like that. No, no. That if, means that, if that's the case, I can just have broth. Thank you. Thank you. And you don't need to have broth when you can just add some flour so we got and a make a roux. And she had some bacon grease in there and there's some yes. crispy bacon that's already at the bottom of the pan. Yes. It smells absolutely amazing. I see you have uh, some seasonings some here. Some seasoning. A little so, cayenne pepper. A little cayenne and a secret to potato soups is nutmeg. Oh, nutmeg. Just a little hand nutmeg. Don't go overboard with it, but it brings just out the flavor of it and it just, it Listen, dances in your mouth. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And okay. a little salt in there too. So you want to add that in? Yes, put it in. Okay. There you go. And the cayenne, you know, some people don't like it hot. I like it spicy. No, I like it spicy. You know. I don't want nothing in my life that's not spicy. If it's boring, what I'm going to do with it? Nothing. Spice it I'm up. I'm going to go to sleep on it. <laughs> that's exactly what's going to happen. Literally. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> now here we've got some cream and chicken broth mixed up. And mm. when you're making these roux, you want to get the, you just really want to get the flavor of the raw flavor flour out of there. Yes, You're not trying yes. to cook it, cook it. Just, yeah, and you, you know. don't want it pasty either, yeah. so watch the, the, the powder, the exactly. um, flour. You only put, how much flour did you put in there? Well, when I'm making a full pot, I do a cup. Okay. Because like I told you, my soups eat like a meal. Mm -hmm. I don't want no broth. I can't wait for the soup to so. be done. <laughs> She must knew I was hungry. I came in hungry. I did. I could tell. I felt you. Mm -hmm. And I spirit. said, the, the Lord said, Miss Quad is hungry. Yes, want to do it? And I said, and he Jesus. Sent you to me. He did with oh some God. soup to fill you up and some cake too. Let me get to the oh. cake. Let me hurry. Oh, up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So then you have you have baked potatoes here sliced. Yes. yes. So you bake these in the oven, or you can buy them. You know, you can. There's a whole lot of ways you can get some potatoes cooked. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I bake these in the oven, and then you're just gonna go ahead and scoop and out. And carve them out. So that's all she's doing. Very simple with an simple. everyday spoon. Yes. It's not tough or hard, guys. No, anybody. Can can make this food. Mm -hmm. Okay, if it's too hard, it's not comfortable. That is okay, true. that's true. Then you're gonna bring this all to a boil. It's gonna become delicious, and when everything is over, I'm about to burn my hand. Don't do that. I will we not. We don't have liability insurance here. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be my story. I went on Sister Circle and got burned. Burn, burn, baby, burn. You can't get burned in here. It's too much so love in this room. So how did you get into cooking? I know, I know where the title Calabama came from because you're you're from Cali, but you got those Alabama roots. Yes. You already told us that. But how did you get into cooking? I have loved to cook my whole life. Okay, and, and it's just something I enjoy doing, being with my grandmama. I was a church girl growing up. My granddaddy was a pastor. Mm. So we were having church dinners every time you looked around. Oh, that was real good. Y exactly. That was and a so, good house to grow up in. <laughs> I would just mm. sit there and watch the church mothers cook. And I loved it, and I, there was so much love that came from it. And my daddy always said, cooking is a way of showing love. It really is. And really I just, is. as time well, went on, I did more. Can you show me a little love right now? Now, oh, I, yeah. got, I know my sisters are going to probably come in later when we talk about this cake. But yes. I just want to taste a little bit now, of this up. soup. Now, now, you like to garnish it. So yes. I see right now you have have a little sour cream here. Uh -huh. You have some cheese. Can I go ahead and yeah, just do my thing? You do your, you do you, Miss Quad. Like, you me doing me. You are gonna do you. I'm not worried about a thing. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. You look fabulous too. Thank you, dear. I appreciate Nothing that. Nothing to be worried about when you look this good. Honey, I lost some weight too. You snatched. Girl. I see you. Woo! I see you. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to get into this cake. Let's go yes. ahead and talk a little bit about that. Okay. This is a pumpkin brown sugar pound cake. Yes. Wow. Yes. Now, who don't love a good pound cake? I don't know. The I people. love. I don't know those people. <laughs> exactly. So what I like to do though is mix it up. 
Calabama style is what do I like and let's make it come to life. I love, I'm not a huge, huge pumpkin fan, but you know what, you gotta have some pumpkin when the fall comes around. Absolutely. And I love brown sugar. So I put the two together and came up with this little baby called brown sugar pumpkin cake. Oh, and it just has obviously brown sugar, brown sugar in it and it's got a really nice cream cheese caramel glaze on it. And so I have the caramel glaze heating here and I make it thick, I don't, I don't like it. Yeah, thin. Mm. You done lost so much weight, you ain't going to eat my soup. Girl, yeah, I'm gonna eat this okay. soup. I was trying to put it out there for the people oh. to see how pretty I get it is. Get a picture. Get, get into it. Get a picture. That's it. Okay, let okay. me get this soup right okay. now because see, I'm scared now. I just wanted That's to be careful. I'm very nervous. Okay. I'm with Miss Quad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. I'm and then, this right then, now. Okay, watch this. Ready? Well, here it comes. Here We're ready. Comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. We're ready. Don't burn your mouth, though. I'm not. I'm blowing here. Yeah, see, that's what you do when you have on good makeup and good food. Mm mm. Girl. Yes. Girl, you did your thing. I was coming to see Miss Quad. Oh my God, this is so <laughs> good. Ah. Hey. What you, what you, hey. 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 Chef, chef, chef. Would you, would you like a, a bite of here? Yes. Let me we give y'all some. Would you, would you like yes. this? Yes. I'm going to need a bigger bowl than maybe. This? Mm -hmm. no, 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 there you go. Know. This is a little pretty bowl. That's amazing. Girl. This is a pretty bowl. Mm -hmm. Trina. Mm -hmm. Just take this bowl. Well, you know, I'm a little, you know. She wants home food. Oh, here she, you go. Here, here's a spoon for you. Put your little garnish on top of it. Get some cheese. Oh, yeah, you got some garnish on there. Get a little bit of salad. Get cheese and bacon. Throw some bacon on it. I mm -hmm. hope that flavor hits you. And but, but I want to see that, that ice and flavor. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Let me, get, let me do it. See, she's dancing. That's, mm -hmm. I made it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're just going to glaze this on here. Mm -hmm. And you want it nice and thick like that. You see that? Oh, yes. oh, oh yeah. Because you want it to lay. You see how that's laying down on there? Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. That's what you this want. This is so good. delicious, Chef. This is so good. Listen, we want to thank go. you so much for joining us, Lori. Thank you. You have been absolutely amazing. I've had so you. much fun with you. Listen, for more on Chef Lori, go to her, Lori, go to her <laughs> Instagram at guess what? Chef Laurie, okay, <laughs> and she's gonna keep showing you some great things with her amazing oh. food. Up next, we have.